How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got another automotive news video. Today we're going to be talking about this crazy new Pagani that is extremely limited, extremely rare, and extremely expensive. But before we get into today's video, if you're new, definitely be sure to subscribe. I do a bunch of different uh, automotive content on this channel, uh, whether it's automotive news videos, car reviews, POV driving videos, anything really. I do a ton of different content and I definitely appreciate all the support as a smaller YouTuber. It really does mean a lot but anyways getting into this video this is something that Pagani has never done before and it's pretty much make a long tail now the Pagani Huayra I, I'm pretty sure that's how you know, pronounce it. It was actually first introduced in 2012 as the successor to the uh, obviously very famous Pagani Zonda. And anyone who knows Pagani knows that they're a hypercar brand. They make amazing vehicles, but they're, they make very, very limited vehicles as well. Just like Bugatti, uh, just like Koenigsegg um, out of Sweden. So these cars have always fascinated me because they're obviously like the absolute best you can get when you're talking about either performance or money wise like they're some of the most expensive cars in the world and also from an engineering standpoint uh, these cars are literally you know f amazing uh, every single bolt is inspected and touched and I like every car is hand built there's no assembly lines there's no mass production of these cars really even though technically they are you know production vehicles and obviously that is one aspect that always comes into debate whenever someone's talking about you know the fastest car in the world the fastest production vehicle in the world but needless to say these cars have always been extremely special to me and the entire automotive world really so if you don't know again the Pagani Huayra really started in 2012 and now in 2022 it's kind of on its way out but Pagani recently revealed that they're going to start be making the um, C10 and that is going to be the the successor of the Huayra, just like the Huayra was the successor of the Zonda. So this model has kind of lived its life. However, Pagani still, you know, has a few tricks up its sleeve and does throw out some like limited edition or special edition uh, versions of this model, which is, you know, one that we're going to be talking about today. Now, this was recently just kind of released at the Goodwood uh, Festival of Speed, the 2022 Goodwood Festival of Speed. Here is actually uh, just right from uh, Goodwood's official uh, website. I will be linking this uh, down below, but this is basically their little section that they did on the actual release of this wire. Uh, um, Coda Longa, which the Coda Longa in Italian basically literally means long tail. It translates ex directly to long tail. So in the interior, you pretty much have a regular wire interior, which is like a spaceship cockpit. I mean, it's not regular in any sense, but I think there's not really any changes from the Waira long tail or uh, Waira Coda Longa to the regular Waira. But the front has definitely changed a little bit. It looks like there's a little bit more. Uh, kind of a, a gaping hole there. It uh, looks a little bit more wide in the front. And then moving on to the most notable part, the rear. The rear has pretty much completely changed. You can't really see it in those pictures, but yeah, in this picture, it really just shows it uh, perfectly. It's, it's a long tail. It's completely changed from the regular uh, body style of the you know normal Waira. So here, just going on Google Images, if some of you may not know already, uh, this is what the regular Pagani Waira looks like. Uh, that's the uh, it's a good picture of the front of it, but here is the rear. So obviously, uh, comparing this rear to the long tail rear, completely different. Uh, the tail lights have even changed. They moved to like this double tail light, more kind of tuned down from the kind of triple tail light uh, look that they have. And the wire has always looked crazy to me. They almost look like an insect, like the headlights and the tail lights of them just almost look like. Uh, fly like or spider like or something like it just look absolutely nuts but it is still pretty amazing to see Pagani uh, still out there kind of making you know special editions of this car even though it's already been around for like 10 years now and it's kind of on its way out now I think personally uh, that they kind of got this idea from McLaren I feel like McLaren was the first one to do long tail versions of their supercars and hypercars with I think the P1 and I I think maybe the 720 or the 570 or something uh, like that but they've done it with multiple different models comment down below if you know uh, the different models that McLaren specifically has done a long tail version with and also moving on to this uh, shorter article by car and driver again I'll link this article down in the description below 
uh, but here is actually some of the more technical specs. It does have the same uh, six liter uh, AMG V12, except the, the Cota Longo, the long tail version of this car is actually making 840 horsepower and 811 foot pounds of torque. So it's definitely bumped up a little bit and it still only weighs 2,822 pounds, which is really awesome. And here are actually some a uh, little bit better pictures of it. I guess the like the, just the full car and you can see that the quad the quad tip exhaust is still there but the back is very open as well uh, very similar to the grille design in the front the taillights are actually like a little bit perched up from the middle of it the middle is kind of sunken in which is pretty neat and the entire thing is just kind of stretched and elongated which is really really cool now this car is going to be worth I don't think I actually mentioned it before, so I might as well mention it now, but the car is going to actually be worth 7.4 million US dollars, which is mind blowing, but they're only making five units of this Wyra long tail. So, you know, I guess that kind of makes sense. I think the regular wire is around like two to three million US dollars, depending upon how you spec it out. And again, these are hyper cars. So a lot of them like if you look at some like more in-depth reviews of the Pagani's, the Koenigseggs, the Bugatti's, uh, literally every single bolt is like titanium or gold plated or like, you know, there's just the amount of attention to detail that goes into these cars is really astonishing. And just kind of finishing up here and going through the photo gallery, you do have nice Pirelli tires on it. I'm sure the wheels probably weigh as much as like a feather. Uh, you do have huge uh, brakes on it as well. And again, you have like a little kind of cursive uh, Cotolonga name on the uh, dashboard there, which is kind of cool little um, feature. And the seats as well. I don't think that these are similar to the regular wire seats. I could be mistaken, but the seats look incredible as well. I mean, they're, they look like the perfect mix between uh, the best quality leather and a kind of purebred racing seat because they have the shape of like a purebred racing seat or a purebred like bucket seat uh, That's really performance dedicated But then you look at the leather and I'm sure the leather is just you know second to none just kind of giving an example with one of uh, Pagani's competitors Bugatti uh, Bugatti kind of just to put in perspective the quality of the, the cars that are made here uh, Bugatti literally owns their own farm where they have their own cattle which basically is where they get the leather for their cars, which is really, really crazy to think about. Uh, and then moving on to the rear, again, you actually do have a three taillight design where over here I just saw the double taillights, so I apologize for saying that before, but you still do have the uh, triple taillights. They're just not in like that triangular shape in, as they are in the regular Wyra. And then here is a shot looking down on the hood. I still love kind of like the teardrop uh, side mirrors. That is uh, very similar to the regular Wyra. And then if you look in the back here, uh, where we're basically taking an entire look of the entire, you know, the whole drivetrain with the engine, uh, the trans axle, I believe. I think this car has a trans axle, um, but it is a uh, rear wheel drive. I don't believe that they are all wheel drive. Correct me again if I'm wrong down in the comments below. Uh, but yeah, and then here's the entire shape of it, which is really what makes this Cota Longa special because again, it is a long tail. So you have that entire uh, back half just pretty much stretched out and it almost looks like disproportionate. Uh, some might, some people might even say that it's ugly. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Let me know whether you think this is just completely ugly and they kind of ruin the regular car or if you think that it's a really cool uh, limited edition and you know, you're excited to see just one more, I guess, special edition of the wire being built before it eventually stops being produced by Pagani. Personally, I can kind of see both sides of the argument. I love the regular Wyra. Uh, this is a little bit, it looks like a less, you know, performance oriented design and more of a kind of stylish flowing design. But still at the end of the day, I'm, you know, still happy that Pagani's you know, decided to do one more special edition of this water before eventually they stop producing it. But yeah, that's pretty much just gonna wrap it up for today's video. Again, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. All the articles will be linked in the description if you wanna take a look at this car for yourself. But like always, thank you guys so much for all the support. Don't forget to, uh, you know, go down there, like, comment, subscribe. It helps me out a ton. Also click the little bell icon to turn on post notifications and actually get notified uh, whenever I do post a video. But that's pretty much much just gonna be it for today and I'll see you guys in the next one.